Shalom Israel. I'm going to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, along with the one third men, women, and children. To you, I say Shalom. Um, today's lesson, I'm going to title this The Elect will be more precious than gold, you know, because in, in this time that's coming, you know, um, where all hell's breaking loose, you know, um, these women, you know, th th they're going to be, they're going to be flocking to the men of the Lord, you know, because we got that wisdom, you know, we're we going to have that wisdom, we're going we gonna to have that understanding, you know, um, all the rest of these heathens and these two-third Israelites, you know, they're going to be, um, Run around like a chicken with the head cut off. But the men of the Lord, you know, you know, we, we're going to be calm. We're going to be collected. And, you know, we're going to be laughing at, you know, you people's calamity. So um, I'm going to start. I'm going to start the lesson with Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. And even a man even a man than the golden wedge of opria okay so i will make a man more precious than fine gold you know he's not um yeah you know he's not talking about just any regular man you know he's not talking about so-called esau the so-called hamites you know he ain't even talking about you know um two-thirds of israel you know he's talking about the elect you know the elect is going to be more precious than fine gold you know, even a man than the golden wedge of Oprah. You know, Oprah, you know, that's like one of the purest golds, you know. So we're going to be more precious than, you know, than gold. We're going to be more precious than, you know, than than money. We're going to be more precious than you so-called celebrities, your Floyd Mayweathers of the world and uh, Little Wayne's of the world, Jay-Z's, you know, the men of the Lord. You know, we're going to be we're going to be the most precious thing. You know, um, I'm gonna stay Salaki. I'm gonna stay in Isaiah. I'm gonna get Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall buy dot shall shall fall by the sword. You know, so, you know, and at them, they talking about, you know, that's the so-called white man. You know, two thirds of our people, you know, they in cahoots with the white man. You know, you know, these women, you know, they in cahoots with the white man. You know, they, um, you know, they making, they making, uh, the men, they, so like the women are bringing, you know, they making hell upon, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, putting men on child support, you know, keeping them from their kids. You know, um, you know, just just being wicked, wicked ass women, you know. So, you know, everybody, you know, anybody that's in cahoots with, you know, so-called Esau and these heathen nations, you know, y'all going to die by the sword. You know, the men and the men of the Lord, you know, they're going to be thrust through, you know. So, you know, if you're not following after your how about Shimmy, I was you know, to the best of your ability, you know, you're going to fall by the sword. I'm going to read down Isaiah chapter 13, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. You know, so two-thirds of our people, y'all, your children are going to be dashed in front of your eyes. You know, you heathen nations, you're going to watch your children get killed, get dashed into pieces. You know, it's going to be, you know, all hell is going to be breaking loose. And it says their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So let's look up that word ravish. Okay, Salaki. So ravish to lie down. To lie, lie down, lie on, you know, so, you know, 
Um, you know, so you know your wives gonna be getting ravished. You know, um, you know, cause all these men that's locked up right now, you know, all all these men that's um, in these psych wards, you know, all these men that's you know on these medications, you know, they're gonna be running wild. And what they're gonna be doing, you know, they're gonna be looking for women. You know, they're gonna be raping women in the times. You know, they're gonna be um. You know, they're going to be doing all type of shit to y'all, to your women. You know, they're going to be raping y'all. You know, they're going to be, they're going to take y'all, you know, take y'all from y'all husbands. You're going to be watching your husband get killed. You know, so, you know, you women got to get in order along with you men, you know, but, you know, only one third of, of Israel is going to get in line, you know, and two, two thirds of our people, you know, they're going to have to fall by that sword. Okay, let me get Isaiah. I'm staying Isaiah chapter 32. Oh, Salaki. So Isaiah chapter 32 and 2. I actually, Salaki, so I'm going to start at Isaiah 32 and 1. Behold, a man shall reign in the righteousness. You know, that king is talking about Yahweh Shah. And prince shall rule in judgment. You know, the prince, you know, he talk about the, the 144,000, the elect. Verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind you know so you know so when he says the, the, a man shall be a hiding place from the wind first of all he's talking about the elect you know they're gonna be a hiding place from the wind so you know you women you know uh, okay let's just imagine you know you gotta um you know if you walking outside and you know the wind is 80 miles per hour you know you're gonna be looking for somewhere you know to, to, to take cover you know so that's how the man gonna be you know you women gonna you know be looking for the men of the lord you know for protection you know for for cover and it reads in a cover from the tempest you know um tempest means a rain shower thunderstorm flood of rain so um let's read that again and a cover from the tempest, you know, so we're we going to be we're going to be a cover, you know, um, let's just say you walking out, you walking down the street and, you know, it just start pouring down raining. You know, imagine if you don't got no umbrella or you can't go run in your house so you don't get drenched in water, you know, so that's how you women going to be. You know, you women going, you know, you women going to be flocking to the men of the Lord. And it says, as river of water in a dry place. So let's say you stuck out in, in the desert, right? And you walk in and then you see a stream full of water. You know, that's how that's how it's going to be. And as, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So that weary land, let's, just, let's say um, it's hot outside and you need and you need to get some shade, you know, so you so um like a bridge you know a bridge gonna block that that's that hot ass sun you know it's 120 degrees outside you know you're gonna need to take cover you're gonna sit outside in 120 degree weather or you're gonna or you're gonna um find some shade you know so that's how the men of the lord are gonna be um let's see Let me get Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eye shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. You no, know, so you know, all you all you women that's been um you know, all you women that's been giving the men of the Lord hell. You know, you putting put a man on child support, keeping them from seeing their kids. You know, just being straight up demons. You know, we going y'all we going y'all gonna be getting trodden down in the streets. You know, you so y'all gonna y'all gonna it's gonna be bodies in this street. You know, y'all gonna be it's gonna be death in the streets. You know, this is gonna be a terrible time for you two thirds and you heathens. You know, and the men of the Lord. You know, we are gonna be laughing at y'all calamity. You know, cause right now. You know, we going through hell, you know, we get we going through persecution, but you two thirds and you heathens, you know, 
this is y'all heaven right now. Y'all in love with y'all wickedness. Y'all in love with, you know, smoking blunts. Y'all in love with eating y'all shrimp, lobster, pork. In love with committing adultery, cheating on another man's wife, and you women cheating on your man. You know, so you know, this this is gonna be y'all. This is gonna be y'all calamity, and we. This is gonna so like this is gonna be y'all hell, and we're gonna be laughing at it. You know, so it's gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be a total re role reverse, you know. Y'all gonna be going through y'all tribulations, and we gonna be rejoicing, laughing, drinking, you know. Um, First Timothy chapter two, and verse fifteen. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, you know. So basically, you know, you women gonna be saved. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna come to the kingdom. You know, by 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 having by having our kids. You know. So in the time of Jacob trouble, you know, and when we get beamed up in them chariots, you know, you women gonna be saved by 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 on, by the men of the Lord. You know. By by um us having y'all kids, you know, so you know your women got to get in order, you know, y'all got to start being obedient and submission to y'all Israelite man, you know. All right, this is a closing scripture, right here. This is Isaiah chapter four verse one, and in that day seven women shall hold. Shall take hold of one man, you know. So seven, you know, seven is the number of complete. So it's not talking about the literal number seven, you know. W you know, wh whatever, you know, it could be twenty. It could be twenty women to one man. It could be five. It can be, it can be fifty. You know, seven just mean a number of complete. And it says, "We will take our own bread and wear our own apparel." Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You know, so be called by thy name. You know, that's saying, you know, you women gonna just want to have sex with the men of the Lord. You know, y'all y'all just want y'all just want to be called by our name. And how you be called by our name? You know, through sexual intercourse. So you know, so you women just gonna want to have sex. You know, you're not gonna be. You're not going to be, um, you know, so he's saying that we, we will eat our own bread, wear our own apparel, you know. So you women is not going to want anything but just to be called by thy name, you know. So to have sex with the man of the Lord, you know, to take away our reproach, you know. So you women going to get in line in the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know. And two-thirds, you know, they're going to just have to be completely you know, burnt up by the missiles, but they or they're gonna be taken down by the sword. You know that modern day sword is the gun. You know it could be anything. You know it could be a, it could be an actual sword. You know one of these FEMA troops. You know um, these wild beasts that's gonna be running wild in the time of Jacob trouble. So, you know, you women gotta get in y'all place. You know, and y'all, you know, it's small percentage of women. You know that. that you know, that's in place already, you know, in that right spirit. But, you know, in the time of Jacob trouble, you know, you women going to be brought low. You know, you're going to be brought back into your right, rightful position, you know. So, you know, um, you know, that was it on this lesson. Um, and Laura willing, this video was edifying. I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect. You know, the 144,000 men, along with the one third men, women, and children. You know, to you, I'm going to say Shalom.